we will go ahead and get started. I'm going to scoot back here so y'all can hear me. Perfect. So we are going to get started. As you can see, I'm just on a carpet. Um, you can be on a mat as well. We're not going to need too much space. I just recommend since we're going to be doing planks or different stuff where we're laying on our backs, that you just might want to have something a little soft and cushiony. So if you're on a hard surface and you don't have a mat, you can also just use like a towel, blanket, jacket, anything that will work. Just make sure you stay comfortable. Whenever you're ready, we're going to crawl onto all fours here placing our wrists under our shoulders, and we're gonna put our knees under our hips as well. And we're just gonna stretch things out here and find a nice cat cow. So on an inhale, we're gonna drop our belly towards the earth, creating a nice curve here, raising our gaze up to the ceiling. I know this feels really good for me. And on an exhale, pressing through, arching our back, creating a curve in the opposite direction. Take a little time here, see how it feels. And then on an inhale, finding our way back to cow. Exhale, finding cat. Continuing through this motion here, you can find it at your own rhythm. If you are a yogi, you may be familiar with this, but I completely appreciate that there may be some non-yogis out there as well. So taking your time right here, just stretch it through. I know, I feel like it's such a cliche for saying this, but I know I'm sitting hunched over a lot right now, so this feels really nice. Arching through, starting to think about engaging those core muscles. I'm sure you'll hear me say that a lot. Taking one more right here, inhaling to find cow, and exhaling, curling in for cat. And then coming back to a neutral spine here, we're gonna find a nice C curve or looking to our tails. So on an inhale, we're gonna start right here. And on an exhale, we're gonna look towards our opposite hip. Exhale to draw back to all fours. And then opposite side. To be honest, I'm not sure whether this mirrors or not. So right now I'm looking towards my right hip. Coming back to center and then my left, although that could be opposite for y'all, I apologize. Regardless, we're just looking to our tail again, wiggling things out, starting to get things woken up, and then returning back to all fours. Right here, we're gonna slide through to a seat and come on to our bottoms, and we're just gonna take some windshield wipers here with our legs, so my hands are out behind me, and I'm just going to drop down side to side. If you'd like to blend this with breath, you most certainly can. Inhale to draw to center and exhale. Trying to keep our chest pointed forward here, twisting out through the hips and getting a little low back twist as well. Taking one more on each side. And returning back to center and to finish up our little mini stretch warm up here we're going to take it back to all fours again making sure our wrists are stacked under our shoulders and our knees are stacked under our hips we're going to curl our toes under engaging that core here we're going to lift knees up off the ground so we're going to do this twice for about 10 seconds so whenever you're ready we're going to engage and lift up here we are Squeezing through the core here, just hovering a few inches. We've just got five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, shake it out if you need. We're gonna do that one more time. Again, just really focusing on how it feels to engage that core. Maybe our first time consciously doing that today. 10 more seconds, here we go. Gently lifting up those knees, pressing through the hands, Feeling the stabilization through all four points of contact right here. We're here for five, four, squeezing three, two, and one. Nice job. Release, grab some water. We're going to head into our work blocks coming up. We will have breaks in between and during our work blocks, but please, if you need to take a break at any time, please do so. We're going to be doing a pyramid, pyramid style class today. 
So if we're going to have four pyramids. Each of those pyramids are going to have three movements, and the movements are going to stack on top of each other. So each movement is going to be 20 seconds each. So the first round of each pyramid, we're going to do one move, take a break. Next one, we're going to do one, two moves, so 40 total seconds. Then we're going to do one, two, three. Then we'll stay three, two, one climbing up and down. If that sounds super confusing, don't worry. Just follow along with me. We'll all be in this together, and I promise you, you got this. So we're going to offer lots of different movements. In each of the pyramids, the moves are going to kind of stack on top of each other. So we'll have one base move that we'll be repeating for the entire pyramid. So if at any point you're like, nah, I don't really like that new move she just added on, just keep with your original base move and we'll stick it out right there. This is your workout, so please make it work for you. We're all in this together. I know I usually don't do a lot of working out in my home. I'm a very like outdoorsy or go to the gym and get my group X on sort of person. So do what feels good for you today. Um, make this workout work for you. We're gonna start with our first pyramid. It's going to be a plank pyramid. So first movement, we're gonna be doing a 20 second plank hold. You have lots of options right here. Again, stacking our wrists under our shoulders. We can either come up onto our toes to find that nice plank position, noting that line from the shoulders all the way down to the heels right here, not sagging or coming up in a down dog shape. We can also put our knees down right here or even come back to that all four position. Of course, engaging through the core is gonna be the most important. We're going to start off our pyramid by holding our plank for 20 seconds. Getting ready. We're starting in three, two, and one. Ready, go. Awesome job. So again, if wrists aren't our style either, we can easily take this down to the forearms as well. Again, just looking for that really nice form. We're just here for five, four, three, two, and one, take it down, awesome job. See, piece of cake. All right, next movement, we're coming back up to that plank, and then we're gonna add another 20 seconds on of plank tap. So getting ready for our plank in three, two, one, and go. So 20 seconds right here. As I said, this is our base move for this pyramid. So we're gonna be coming back to this one a lot. So make it work for you. If you need to take it down onto your knees halfway through, that's totally cool as well. I want you to stick in that form, whatever you do. We're gonna take it to plank taps in three, two, one, plank taps. All you're gonna do, take one foot, tap it out. I'm going about a foot away, but if you're plank taps right next to you, that works as well. Just 20 seconds here. This can easily be done on our knees too. Looking good, engage through that core, keep that neck nice and neutral in front of you. We're here for three, two, one, and release. Awesome job. Take your recovery here, feel good. We're heading towards the top of that pyramid coming up. So this next work block's gonna be one minute long. We're gonna be doing three movements. It's gonna be our plank, plank taps, and then we're gonna add an extra tap Instead of going to the side, we're gonna move up forward. I'll show you when we get there. We're starting out right now just in our plank in three, two, one, and go. So again, locking in that form right here. Squeezing through wherever you are. 10 seconds till our taps. Making sure we stay centered over our wrists. We're not rocking backwards. We're tapping in three, two, one, and tap. So goal here is not to rock from side to side as we tap, but instead to keep that core nice and steady and just let the legs do the work. I feel like my hair is getting in the way of the video there. All right, we're changing it up in three, two, one. Watch here, we're tapping out, up, back, and center. Go ahead and take it on your own. So I'm tapping about up to my hip height here, and we're keeping that great form all the way through. If you just want to keep it here at the taps or just keep it at your plank, you're welcome to do so. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down. 
Awesome job. Grab a breath here. Grab a drink. Take a breath. So we've made it to the top of our pyramid. Now we're going to come back down the other side. So we're doing that exact same thing again. Plank, toe taps, toe taps with the additional movement forward. Y'all got this. We're heading into plank in three, two, and one. Ready, go. So again, we're repeating these movements. So you may find, oh, I'm really locking in that form. Or you may find, oh, wow, this is getting really hard to keep doing this plank over and over again. Regardless, I want you to find that awesome form. And if you need to change it up, this is permission to change it up. We're tapping it out in three, two, one. Nice taps right here. If you're feeling good, maybe you can increase that speed a little bit. I want you to make sure that we're not rocking that body though, keeping it nice and still, or we're taking it nice and slow, tapping it out. All right, we're gonna add that tap forward in three, two, one, and go. So side, forward, out, and in. Side, forward, out, and in. Looking good, 10 seconds here till we recover. Can you give me a bit more speed? I know you got it. Hold it out, three, two, and one. Release it down, Whew. shake it out. All right, coming back down, two moves this time, plank and taps. Last time through those wonderful, wonderful taps to the side. I want it to be your best one yet. Y'all got it, we're getting ready, three, two, and one. Whew. Again, feeling comfortable with our plank now, feeling ourselves press up through the wrists, keeping our shoulders centered, breathing, making that beautiful line. Y'all got it, five seconds, and then we tap it out. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, taps, last time. Oh man, tap it out. <sighs> making sure we continue to breathe, feel good. Halfway through, you've got a little rest coming your way. In five, four, let's tap it together. Three, two, and one. Release it down. All right, we have just one more move till we finish off our first pyramid, and that is our lovely, lovely plank. All right, I know this is gonna be your best plank yet. I know this is gonna be my best plank yet. What do I wanna do? Maybe I'll do forearms for this one. You can shake it up or keep it the same. 20 seconds, let's finish this out in three, two, and one. Woo, settle in. Keeping that neck nice and neutral. I know I'm kind of craning my neck to the side, but we wanna try and keep that gaze right down towards our palms, or if we're up on our wrists, right to that floor in front of us, maybe the edge of our mat. Holding for five, squeeze it out. Don't let those booties sag or go up in the air. Two, and one, release it out. You can hit a quick child's pose if you want. Grab some water, feel good. One block down, one pyramid down, three to go. All right, I don't know about y'all, but I'm starting to feel a little sweaty, a little warm. All right, our next pyramid, we're gonna take it from a seat. So you can shake it out. Feel good. Whenever you're ready, we're going to get ready, get prepared. Excuse me. First movement is going to be a boat hold. Second movement, we're going Russian twist. Third, one of my favorites, lemon squeezers. Of course, we just have to worry about that base movement to start. So getting ready here, we're going to find boat hold in three, two, and one. So boat hold, we're going to lock in the shoulders all the way down to the hips nice and firm so we don't want to round it out. I don't really know how you would arch. That seems like it would be extra effort. <laughs> but right here, we can either grab onto the backs of our thighs. We can tap the toes down and bring them up. Or we can hold it out right here. You've just got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Release it out. Feel good. Coming up next, we're going to boat hold, go right into brush and twist. And I hear my cat outside the door. So he's going to do a little ab work. 
with us so he's not screaming outside while we're trying to work out together. All right, coming up next, boat hold and then Russian twist. Getting ready, we're going in three, two, and one. So boat hold again. What I really want you to focus on, our legs can be just about anywhere. We can tap them down. We can even keep them on the ground if we want to just keep that core nice and engaged. But I want you to find that nice line, shoulders to hips. If we've really got boat hold down, we can try releasing our hands, straightening out our legs, leaning back a little bit farther. That's definitely a challenge for me. We're going three, two, one. We're heading into Russian twist. You can cross ankle over each other, keeping eggs, eggs, legs elevated, or they can tap down on the ground. And we're gonna tap side to side. Go ahead here, 20 seconds. So again, we can stay right here or we can pick the legs up. We can find a bit of speed or we can find that slower twist and look for that full rotation. I don't really care here whatever you do as long as you're being safe. I want you to find where you can hold your best form. So again, I see I find myself crunching in a little bit, trying to keep that straight line. We're here for three, two, and one, release it out. Oh, all right, to the top of our pyramid. This time we're gonna add on some lemon squeezers. I'll give you a little quick demo. They're gonna look a little something like this or like this. But first, we've got that lovely boat hold. One of my favorites, not really. We're going 20 seconds in three, two, and one, boat hold. So, once more, I'm not looking for like incredible, high effort, high intensity hold, if that's not what you're feeling today. If you're here, great. If you're like right here, also great. We're all in this crazy situation together. We wanna make sure that we find that good form and find that good foundation. So again, we should be feeling it in the abs. I feel this a little bit in my hips. Holding it out, three, two, and one, right into those Russian twists. Might be fun here, play around. You can twist the other ankle over, if you'd like. Continuing to breathe and hold that beautiful line. Looking good. We are here for five, four, three, two, one. We're finding lemon squeezers here, so legs uncrossed. We're gonna lay it out and come back in out, come back in, 20 seconds, ready and go. So if this is too much for you, we can place hands behind us and go for a little bit of this action. So again, trying to lay out, point those toes, get as close to the ground as we can, and then crunching back in. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. I said that one, those were one of my favorites. But they're also one of the most challenging for me. I'm not sure about y'all. All right, good job. We made it all the way to the top. Now it's time to come back down. We're doing those three moves again, just as before. Again, always looking for that great form. 20 seconds coming up. Lovely, lovely boat hold. We're going three, two, and one. Finding your boat hold here. And again, feeling free to challenge yourself. Maybe sticking the legs out, feeling that tremble point. And we can always tap it back down. The best part is, I'm not looking at y'all's videos. Maybe there's nobody else in the room with you, so if you fall over, it's all good. Nobody's gonna see. Two, one, right into those Russian twists. Maybe if we're feeling good, we can find a bit more speed with this round. Breathing it out. You know what I'm gonna say, find that line. Squeeze that core. Awesome job, we're here for five. Four lemon squeezers, two and one. Squeezing it out. So again, we can have those arms come behind us or we can have hands elevated. We can also sweep hands all the way over top and come back. Just five, four, you got it. One more good rep, and release. Nice job, all right. 
two moves coming your way. Boat hold, brush and twist. Let's get ready, knock these bad boys out. Boat hold in three, two, and one. Here we are. Mowgli's here to cheer you on. He actually, fun fact, really likes when I do yoga. He like gets really excited and he'll come run around me and like lay down by me. I don't know if he can like sense my calming energy or at least that's what I tell myself. All right, twist it out. Let's go. 20 seconds, Russian twist. Whew. I should have mentioned this at the beginning of class, but we usually have our intensity scale of one through four. And I know if you're a big hit person or like a high, high intensity person, you're used to that four being like an all out push. But with a more strength based class like this, five seconds right here, we might find ourselves at a two or a three on our intensity scale. So that's about a moderate to hard intensity. Last one and release. Breathe here. One more round up here, maybe. But with our intensity, I encourage you with these more strength-based movements to, to still try and push for that intensity. It just might feel a little bit different. So I know I'm getting a little bit warm, but I'm not dripping sweat. That's cool. We're still engaging. We're still feeling challenged. So I encourage you, again, find your challenge wherever that may be today. One last time. <laughs> Let's put this boat pose to rest. We got 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's do this. So again, final time through, put this move to rest. That may look like tapping down, tapping up, grabbing on. It may look like trying something a bit trickier, maybe that you haven't tried. We're holding here and breathing. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right, two pyramids down, two to go. Grab some water, feel good. We're heading into side planks next. So side planks, we're gonna go on one side, up our pyramid, other side, down our pyramid. So whenever you're ready, we're gonna find a nice side plank. I'm gonna be on my forearm. You're welcome to be on your wrist if you would like. I'm gonna position my forearm so that it's right underneath my shoulder. And we're going to find our side plank hold 20 seconds in three, two, one, and go. So of course, lots of options as always. We can be right here. We can stagger the feet. If we'd like, we can bend the knee back behind us. It'd be on the knee as well. Hold it out here five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, release it down. Awesome job. All right, two movements coming up. Side plank hold, and then we're gonna hover our top leg. Whenever you're ready, we're heading back into that side plank in three, two, and one. Finding your side plank here. So key is to make sure we stay centered over that supporting arm. So even I'm starting to lean a little bit. Squeezing that core, trying not to let those hips drop. That's gonna be our key no matter what position we are in. Coming up, we're gonna hover our top foot in three, two, one, find that top foot, hover. Looking good, Woo. squeeze it out. Again, we can be on the knee. We can tap that foot down and bring it back up. We're here for five, four, whoa, I'm falling, three, two, and one, release it down. Oh man, I tell you what, Side planks for some reason get me. Like regular planks, I'm like, I got it. We got it in the books. Side planks are tricky. All right, final time on this side. We're gonna side plank, we're gonna hover, and then option crunching elbow towards that bottom knee, or sorry, top knee, crunching towards each other. Get ready, side plank, three, two, and one. So right here, gonna be your final minute on this side. That's the great thing about doing side planks, I guess though. Right, we're repeating it, but we're gonna repeat on the other side. So we'll get a little freshness. Keep that hip elevated, squeeze it out. We're hovering in three, two, one, and hover. So again, if we wanna tap that foot down and bring it back up, we most certainly can. Three, two, one, right here. We're gonna take our top foot, 
top elbow, crunch it towards each other. Three, two, one, and go. So right here, I'm on my knee. You're welcome to keep that bottom leg extended. You're welcome to just hold a side plank. Find what works for you here. Squeeze it out. Less than 10. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, last one, and release it down. All righty, we're coming over to the opposite side to come down the pyramid. So for this side, we're gonna kind of do a reverse of our pyramid. Since we haven't built up this side yet, we're gonna just climb up our pyramid again. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I'm not looking forward to just starting out with the crunches. So we're just gonna hold a side plank here, 20 seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome. So you may notice that this side feels just the same as your other side, or it may feel a little bit different. We are not built perfectly evenly, nor do we use our bodies always perfectly evenly. So you may need to take another option or change it up this side, that is totally cool. Releasing three, two, and one, let it down. All right, next, y'all know what's up. Side plank and then hovering that top foot. We're going in three, two, and one, ready, go. Looking good. Squeezing that top, or sorry, squeezing that hip. Either stacking top feet, staggering. We can be on the knee. We're hovering in three, two, and one. Hover it out. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Breathe through here. Engage that core. You got this. Three, two, one, and release it down. Wow, hope maybe y'all released it a little bit more gracefully than I did. I kind of just flopped there. All right, last time, minute here, side plank. Side plank, hover, and then we're gonna bring that top, goodness gracious, cannot speak, top elbow to top knee as well. All right, side plank, final time. Three, two, and one. Looking good. Like I said, side planks are certainly not my forte, but planking, for whatever reason, does make me feel really strong. I feel really centered. I squeeze my core, get a little tremble going. We're holding here and hovering it up in three, two, one, hover it out. You got it, breathing through. Squeeze those abs. We're gonna release that top hand, crunching towards each other in three, Two, one, and go. 20 seconds, finishing out side planks. Again, if you'd like to find speed here, you can, but I encourage you, take it a little slower, find that lovely form. We're here, three, two, and one, release it out. All right, grab some water if you need it. We are heading into our fourth and final block right here. We're gonna be back on our backs doing some glute bridges. So, whenever you're ready, we're gonna find ourselves on our back. Heels are gonna come towards our glutes here. And my feet are about hip width distance apart. You're gonna put your shoulders down on the ground. We wanna kinda of tuck our shoulders underneath of us. Some people I know like to clasp their hands under their glute bridges. You're welcome to either keep your hands on the ground or you can think about tucking your shoulders under a little bit more. We're just going up into a glute bridge hold in three, two, and one. So pressing up through the glutes. Again, finding a line here from the knees all the way down to the shoulders. I'll try and remove my hands here so you can see what's going on. So we're squeezing through the glutes, but we're also engaging the lower back, which is part of our core, even though sometimes we just kind of think of it as the stuff near our belly button and the sides. We're engaging that low back to strengthening it here. We're here for three, two, one, and release. Awesome job. If you ever need a good release during the glute bridge set, we can hug our knees in towards our chest. So next we're gonna hold, and then we're gonna pulse it up and down. We're going in three, two, one, ready, go. So holding it out, 20 seconds here. 
We want to make sure that our knees stay tracking over our toes. So we don't really want our knees to bow out here. We want to keep them pointing straight ahead. Try and stay engaged and lifted here. Three, two, one. Right here, we're going to tap it down. Press back up, down and up. If you would like, you can not tap on the ground. So you can keep it at a hover here, coming just down and up. Or we can take it all the way down and all the way up. Your choice. Five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Release it out. All right. To get to the top of the pyramid, we've got those two movements. And then we're going to add on a leg lift at the top. We're getting ready. Glute bridge hold in. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Squeeze that booty, pressing up. Finding that beautiful line. We're going to take it up and down in three, two, and one. Down and up. So as we go down and up, whether you are hovering or tapping down, thinking about squeezing at the top, and controlling your way back down to the earth. Two more reps, one and two right here. You can stay where you are, or to finish it out, we're gonna take one leg up and hold. 20 seconds here. If you'd like a little extra, you can add a little pulse. Looks like I'm trying to do some funky dance move here on the ground. We're here, five, you got it. Four, squeeze, three, two, and one, release it back down. All right, same thing, other side. So we've got hold, pulsing, and then when we lift our leg, lifting opposite leg this time, because we love both sides evenly. Here we go, lifting up, three, two, one, and lift. Again, thinking about tucking those shoulders under, knees tracking over toes. We'll do a bit of a different perspective this time. So you can see we're trying not to open like this, but stay straight, making sure we're staying in alignment. We're gonna pulse it out in three, two, one. Pulse it out, lowering and lifting, keeping that control, keeping that intensity. <sighs> Breathing it out. You get a little bit of extra glute work today glute work bonus thrown in with your low back and core. Looking good. All right, we're gonna lift opposite leg than what you did last time. Three, two, one. Lifting that leg up, flexing that foot. Staying lifted here. Try and give you good perspective. If you'd like, we can take some pulses. We're here for five, four, three, little, and one, release it down. All right. Officially coming down that other side, hold and pulse it out. Getting ready, three, two, and one, here we are. Hold it right here. Again, this is our base move. We've done this what? This is our fifth time holding this glute pose. So what can you do this time to challenge yourself a little bit more? Can you engage just a slight bit further? Can you push that booty up a little higher? We're pulsing it out, ready and go. Last time pulsing. <sighs> Breathe. Think about engaging through the glutes, engaging low back, driving towards the ceiling. We're here, three, two, and one, release it down. All right, one last glute bridge, and then we stretch it out, cool down. Glute bridge to finish it off. Best one yet. Best move of the workout. Glute bridging it out. Three, two, one. 20 seconds on the clock. Let's see what you've got. Breathe and squeeze. Feeling strong and powerful right here. You've got it. Five seconds. Can you raise it up just a tad further? I think you got it. Three, two, one, and release it down, awesome job. You can draw the knees into the chest, take a little rock side to side, massage out that low back. 
grab some water if you'd like. We are going to stretch it out. Whew. Oh, awesome job. All right, right here, we're gonna start out with our stretch in a supine figure four. So you can lay back on the ground. Perhaps you are already there already. And we're gonna take our right ankle, draw it over our left knee, and then find a hip opener right here. So you can stay with the left foot or this bottom leg on the ground, or if you'd like, we can thread through, thread through and pull back gently towards our chest, getting a bit deeper here. Whew. Feeling good, feeling accomplished. Awesome job. And we're gonna switch to that other side. So right here, opposite leg for me, that's gonna be left ankle drawing over right knee. We can stay here or we can thread our arms through and pull back gently towards our chest. Just remember to drink lots of water today. Take that recovery or rest day if you need it coming up. Take care of yourself. Feeling good, breathing out here. And releasing down right here. We're going to take our knee and take a little spinal twist. So I'll actually face here. So I'm going to drop my right knee over to my right side, keeping both shoulders on the ground, just finding a little gentle twist here. Whew. Nice release. On an inhale, bringing both knees back up to center. And then I'm gonna drop left leg, you can drop opposite knee over to the opposite side here. Again, keeping both shoulders on the ground. A little supine spinal twist. Taking one more breath here. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna come back up to a seated position. Coming on to all fours. I apologize, got real close to the camera here. We're gonna draw our feet together. Knees are gonna come back out wide and we're gonna press out to a beautiful child's pose. Feeling good, stretching through the back here. Taking one more breath. Then coming forward, we're gonna come onto our belly. So legs are gonna stretch out long behind us like so. We're just gonna find a little sphinx here. So on our forearms, pressing through our chest, keeping shoulders and elbows in line. This is always one of my favorites after doing some core work. And if you'd like, arms can either come, even come out a little in front of you and we can push all the way up, or we can stay down in our sphinx. And when you're ready, releasing back to all four. And we will just take a few of those cat cows or the, those initial stretches that we started with. So on an inhale, dropping our belly to the floor, looking up to the ceiling for cow. Exhaling, rounding the back for cat. Inhaling once more, cow. And exhaling for cat, twist it out, feel good. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, working out your core. I hope it was enjoyable. I have a few final announcements here to pull up. Thank you for sticking it out with me as well. Let's see here, we hope you enjoyed this. We also wanna let you know that there's a nationwide challenge that VCU is partaking in called the 2020 Movement Challenge, and that's a collaboration between univer university recreation departments across the country in hopes of getting our communities moving. So students, faculty, university staff and alumni, basically anyone with a VCU email address can participate in online fitness classes like this one, but from over 40 different schools across the country. So the 2020 Recreation Movement is currently going Going on and it runs through May 3rd of 2020 and you can register at 2020 recreationmovement.com starting April 6th which already started. Um, I also have some hashtags here so if you would like to post a picture of you doing this class 
or doing any of these, working out at home, we have hashtag VCU Rec Sports, hashtag 1VCU, hashtag 2020 Recreation Movement, hashtag 20, or sorry, Rec at Home, hashtag RVA, and hashtag Stay Home RVA. So again, thank you so, so much for working out with me. I hope you had a good time, and I know they are doing classes like this.